Hi birdies, it's Autumn. In today's video, I thought I would show you a math curriculum that we started using several weeks ago and we're really enjoying. It is by Masterbooks. It's called Math Lessons for a Living Education Level One. And it's kind of um, Charlotte Mason inspired. It's kind of in that kind of vein, but not like strict to the letter, you know what I'm saying? So, so basically what it is, it's a story of brother and sister twins who go to their grandparents' farm over the summer. And basically the math problems and what they're learning about math is pulled out of this story of these two kids who are at their grandparents' farm. And so I really like that because it gives them a reason to do math, a purpose for what they're doing, a purpose for learning place value, a purpose for counting by twos or counting by fives, a purpose for learning time. It just kind of brings a life lesson to what they're learning. And so I really like that. And it brings a little color and interest. And the pages are full color. So there are illustrations and color, on the pages. Um, my favorite thing has to be, and this is gonna sound kind of silly to some of you guys that this is the thing that's my favorite about this so far, and it's the copy work of numbers. And the reason is we did a different curriculum last year. Um, you can look about it back at some of our old homeschool videos um, to check that out. Um, but there was very little copy work of numbers and I found that that actually became a problem where my daughter would get the, prob the answer to the problem correct, but she would write the number so wrong that the answer was wrong. So like maybe writing a five as a two. So I thought that she wrote two, so I marked the answer wrong when she really meant five, but she wrote it as a two. Does that make sense? So for me, the fact that they start with so much copy work of numbers um, really helps. Now, if your child doesn't need that much copy work of numbers, you could absolutely skip it, but I appreciate it. I think that my kids really need practice writing their numbers at this age. Um, and so I really appreciate that they are having them practice writing their numbers so frequently. Now, level one is intended for first grade. However, what I've noticed is that level one in Math Lessons for a Living Education, the scope and sequence is very similar to some kindergarten curriculums in other brands. And so what you have to keep in mind is that in a Charlotte Mason approach, sometimes the learning path is gonna be a little bit, you know, slower than in maybe a traditional approach. And so that's something to keep in mind. For example, my kindergartner is doing level one and my first grader are both doing level one. My first grader did Matthew C. Primer last year and she's doing this. Um, the scope and sequence when comparing these two curriculums, um, the, the primer and Matthew, Matthew C. Primer to Math Lessons for Living Education Level 1, the scope and sequence is very, very similar. And a lot of people use uh, Matthew C. Primer for kindergarten. So I think if that kind of helps you figure out um, kind of where to start, Masterbooks does not make a math curriculum lower than level one. They don't have anything specifically for kindergarten, um, but we're using it for kindergarten and I really like it. My kindergartner does not have any trouble at all. Actually, when she started this, she had not turned five yet. She was like four months away from being five years old. And she has not had a problem at all. She's actually kind of enjoyed it. So this is a Christian curriculum. Now, what I like about it is that the voice of the writer, the tone of the speaker is Christian. You can tell that it's a Christian writing the book. It's in the whole undertone of the story that it is a Christian who's speaking and they talk about God and they talk about creation and Noah's Ark, but it's not so heavy that the Bible um, kind of overtakes the curriculum where it's stronger than the math concept that we're learning that week. And so it's just kind of like in there, it's just kind of like the undertone of the whole thing is Christian, but it's not so much that it's like a devotional. Do you know what I'm saying? So this curriculum is, is it's, it's this, this is all it is. This is the teacher's guide and the workbooks and everything is all in one. They do have a few manipulatives printed in the back of the book that you can cut out, but for the most part, any manipulatives that you might need will be things that you can 
pro you probably have around your house. So you shouldn't have to be like going out and like buying a bunch of stuff. You probably already have it laying around your house somewhere. Um, and yeah, we've I've never gone and bought stuff for this curriculum. I've just kind of used something that we already had. Thank you guys for watching today. If you have any questions about this curriculum, please leave them in the comments below. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos from us. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.